to find and destroy the river and I, whoever he is and make sure he's going to pay for all the murders he has done with the mayor and the other people including my dad whoever it is you will soon find out from me I am vengeance <laughs> okay hold on a second why is the whole review looking like this right now? This is not what I wanted. I know it's supposed to be like if, what the whole movie's gonna be like, but that's not what I'm doing right now. This is just a normal damn review, and I just want this done quickly, because I got other stuff to do with my life. Uh, well, where was Bat? Oh, there he is. Hey, Batman, I need to talk. Okay, uh, Batman. I just need a little, a little talk with you. Why is the whole review looking like this? It's relatable to the movie. Well, yes, but then again, I didn't want this to happen. I just wanted to leave it as it is. Well, too bad, so sad. You gotta deal with it. <laughs> I'm not letting that happen. I can just do that by its own stuff to review. Oh, come on, man. Don't you wanna continue on with me? I gotta find the riddle or something. Nah, you do it yourself. Yeah, fine. I'm not gonna need me, huh? Uh, here we go. Whee! Oh, come on, man. Don't you see here, Mickey Mouse? I'm trying to tell Batman that I want this review to begin as normal, not like this red color scheme. I'm fine with that. What? Why? Because again, if it's normal, it will not. I want this review to be a regular review. And besides, we got other stuff, we got other stuff to review soon enough. And besides, this is like almost three damn hours. I just, you really think I was spend the whole day? In the last one we did was like over an hour. I want this shorter, because there's no way we'll make another one an hour long. Uh, unless we do a 4.5 or something, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, whatever. This <sighs> All right, let's just get this shit over with. Um. Uh, anyways, uh, here, yeah, here I am, man. Uh, let's actually start this real by turning this whole thing. Wait, wait a second. I can just do this. Booyah! Wait, how did I did that? I'm not even moving. All right, let's just do that again. Let's actually try to put this up and that. But there we go. Now it's back to normal. Uh, although it was already like that. So, anyways, let's just get this shit over with. Let's start this review of the Batman. Not Batman. Not Batman. Not Dark Knight. Dark Dark Knight Rises. Not Batman Begins. Not Batman Forever. Not Batman Begins. It sucks. This is the Batman because we are more stuff here. This is the one Batman of them all. Now, anyways, let's actually start this review. Anyways, this is uh more bad the Batman. Oh, that's a nice way to go back, but I kind of prefer the red one. But if you all still want it, I will still look for the red right now. Well, you're on your own. <sighs> the story. Oh. Since this movie is almost three damn hours long, how am I going to tell everything about the story? Well, I'll try to make this almost like under like five minutes. So let's try to do this quick. So anyway, so there's a story. Um, actually, it does not start off with the parents stealing for like a millionth time, even though we're already sick of it because we think we knew that already since day one. Like, we get it. Anyways, um, and there's also the, uh, um, uh, uh the, the guy, the, the Riddler, but why is he trying to do the so no Riddler, uh, riddles I mean everywhere, and everywhere, and that's why he did all of us that, he did all of us to happen. And then, and I did a Batman on the lawn to destroy the evil, but we need to know why the Riddler is murdering his people. And what I mean by that, the mayor, the other, the, I think the mayor was one of them, and then the, some other guy who's the DA, one of the cops, and then um, some other characters that we know, but uh, there's like a lot, can I just say. And anyways, uh, I gotta say that 
Anyways, I'm out. And then there, uh, he also better has the other guy working with him. We have Apple and then a lot of her hurts that we all. And Catwoman is also there trying to figure out to beat that the hell out of this place. And Scott's just like, hell. Crime is like rising up all because of lies, corruption, and lies from mayors. And now they're gonna end it once and for all by murdering every one of them to end this once and for all. So anyways, I think that's like the premise of the story, and then I'll tell you, and I will get to know the rest later. Anyways, what are my thoughts on the story? It's fucking amazing. It must have been the amazing thing anyway. It's like re really annoying. It's really annoying. Anyways, I'm, uh, the story is really, really, really damn good. I'm just letting you know, like, there's no way you can actually make a good, uh, make a bad man like this really good. And it, it's ser as serious as possible. I mean, s more serious than the Dark Knight trilogy. And because why? They set that up all the way up to 11. Murders. Mur murdering. <laughs> Although, <laughs> and everything. Is murderous. No, there's no single joke in this movie. Not a single fucking one. They want the serious as possible, and they did it successfully. And now you know why. And the other thing is that it's like so. It's like really good. And like when you see, especially on some portions of the story, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know the you know all the slice kind of relates to what we have nowadays I mean, in real life uh promises they people usually make and then in reality they lie the whole time and that's what caused them to die well some of them but whatever anyways uh anyways all this is like everything about all, all this shit that is happening right now and I, everything was just one right and wait, what the hell am i saying uh, um uh, this whole thing right here is just Really, really amazing, especially with everything. Not even every edge of the gray in this movie, but anyways, uh, we all, all I got to know the most important, oh uh, yeah, what's the most important thing in the movie? The, um, wh why is most, see, what is the most, like, the club's gonna be helpful, the penguin is not, kinda, right? But not, not in it for that much, since the Riddler is most likely the main villain. But anyways, uh, all, all the shit, uh, all the shit that's happening right now, but it shows that everything in this movie is amazing. Like, yeah, like, all the serious stuff is dialed up to 11. Like, there's not a single joke here at all. And I mean, seriously, it's so damn fucking good. Anyways, you know that. And yeah, it's a full music right now, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, anyways, uh, overall, I would say, uh, so, uh, yeah, is there any negatives? Um, not that much, but I'm pretty sure the review of the winner is kind of like, really? Like, why is he that? But you'll see why later when he is talking to Batman. And you'll notice that, like, why, why he's doing all of this. And then, uh, we also got someone that we're gonna tell her. Anyways, overall, I just say that the whole story is amazing. All damn really good so far. Tiled up to 11 in the serious move. Up to 11 for like the past two or three hours and 56 minutes. You go and watch it, you'll love it. Okay, I don't know what's screaming outside right now, but we don't even care. We also got the visual effects. And, and then we also got the Luigi hair for some reason. You really need to focus on your voice, man. You really do sound shit. And all I gotta ask, I might just kill you if you try to lie to me. Oh, I won't. Good, I'll be back. Well, hello, Batman, I was here. Um, okay, then. Okay, technically there wasn't really that many visual effects besides explosions and um, action scenes, but you get the reason. Anyways, um, what are my thoughts on the visual effects? Um, good, but, I, yeah, that's all I really got. It's good. Good visual effects for me. But, it doesn't automatically mean that it fits, but I would explain why. What are the negatives? Um, obviously the action sometimes. Action is a lot of dark, even though the flashing images would show that you really see this, but you gotta have that mat, kind of that metal imagine with all this going on. It's with the camera, 
the, where the camera is like aiming at right now. And then there's also some uh, other visual effects they had. Um, uh, what was this? Some, uh, expl yeah, the explosion as well. We seen this like many times. It wasn't anymore, but you can still see why it's good. Okay. Anyway, so I think we all know about the ending was what around this visual effect device and somehow Gotham City was flooded by those explosion trucks that the river somehow caught it from the secret video that the cops never got. So I'm not. Oh yeah, the, the password was some uh, a new change. And it was on the under the carpet that they hit it, that he hid, but it shows where the seven cars are around Gotham City and started to blow them up and then it started to flood the whole area just to kill just to say that, oh you're all dead now. And that's what they're trying to do. You know, but besides. Um other shit that happened, but uh, we'll get to that But anyways, um, overall, I really got nothing that much to explain besides the act. But we should talk about the action scenes next. But anyways, the action scenes are fine, but sometimes they're like, some action scenes are like good, especially the one with the, the Batmobile, which you only get to see it once throughout the whole movie. Uh, he just done, he was undercover. But there's also um uh, some other stuff that you actually see your adrenal pump thing. Like, uh, like a fucking render. It was like, okay, right. Like, one of those, uh, damn things that you would most likely that the FBI would always get, but for some error reason, no, hell no, the news would not even show that. Uh, proof to you, um, uh, I know there was a news statement I read, I think I saw in the news a couple of months. They did not show that. There was someone recording about something. I can't explicitly, I can't explicitly tell you for the reasons I can't explicitly tell you. You gotta have to figure it out, but it's on high school around. Riverside or LA or something that happened a couple of months ago that happened around the bathroom happened with a girl and uh, three people but I that's all that's all I'm gonna say but you're gonna have to find the rest yourself but they did not show the video and that's a good thing I don't know why the hell the Gotham News showed them that was uh, the rid of his videos even though like the on it on my social media don't they usually take those kinds of videos down YouTube Twitter whatever uh, okay except Facebook but still um, Instagram and other cities anywhere on social media besides the far dark fucking web. You see why? But anyways, um, then we'll get to that later with the characters. But, but anyways, um, okay, what's one of the best NI force of TV? Best part is easily the the car chase one, and the worst one I have to say I'm uh Okay, there wasn't really the worst one, but least favorite was probably the one we were fighting with. Uh, Catwoman was trying to go with uh. I uh, was trying to go find out one of the cats that actually was, who, who took them car with that, or was it the one with the like, hood, uh, but, uh, okay, that cat was good, but that other was also the, uh, yeah, the one with the, the guy that told, uh, uh, Katie, it was it like Katie? Uh, Kelly, that was her name, uh, the, the, she was holding her hostage for some reason. Yeah, they got it all, they somehow recorded all of that, they did post all the news, and now we know why. Um. Uh, and then overall, I really got nothing else to say about the action scenes, but it was like a lot I would mention, but this is like three day of hours. I can't like explicitly tell everything unless I look up the whole lot of Wikipedia. And yes, they usually put those on like in the first day of the movie. First day of the, when the movie comes out, they put them all, put the whole plot out of it. Basically, you can just read the whole thing and boom, you, that's the use just all the whole movie. But anyway, so overall, I would just say the visual effects are good, but I think they're a little repetitive. You usually see those a few times, but I think the blood in the end was actually kind of like shocking to see. It was like 2012 all over again, but overall, the visual effects were good, to say the least, but it's still enjoyable nonetheless. You never asked about Catwoman, what happened to her after the movie? Oh yeah, she left. That's a little good to hear, but anyways, it we got the really good. Oh yeah, uh, I I got him. It was I. It was easy. The, those characters will we'll never see that character once again. So, anyways, uh, I uh, that was fun to hear, but I gotta see you with more sequels coming up. Um, okay then, but um, uh, the characters I guess. Uh, well. If I gotta talk about the characters, I gotta talk about at least one character in the end of the movie. Well, we're gonna have to get to that last. So, anyways, what are the thoughts on the characters? Oh my god, amazing. Especially one of them, Batman. Batman, yeah, that's why I'll just say I was just get it over with anyways. I got a lot of fun. Uh, first off, let's talk about Batman and okay, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, why are people complaining about Ron Branson again? He kind of looks like emo Bruce Wayne for some reason. Emo Batman? I don't know. Batman was kind of easy in order to get away. But, um, you see why? Why? 
Um, uh, anyway, so what? Uh, this whole uh, Batman is basically the best, team. easily number one. But you can tell why. Right? He's actually confident about this. He's actually a detective for once. <laughs> I just stop that, guys. But at least he tries to help people, especially Catwoman. And uh, other people in the end, the whole, the whole place was flooded after he was like, shot like hundreds of times. But somehow he's still alive. He should be dead. Anyways, uh, now, anyways, what are our other characters? We got a uh, Catwoman. Um, uh, well, she's fine, but she's she, she kind of done done this in her own. Uh, what I mean by that? Uh, after they found uh, the body, they did not Catwoman. Uh, uh, her friend that was held hostage after the from one of the that one of the cops janitors or something and then there's also oh yeah Batman has the other has his sidekick but um yeah he's there but not he's scoreless uh you could do it without him but at least he's trying to he's the only one I could trust Batman other everybody well anyways uh, that's all I gotta say um uh there's also um uh okay that woman is fine but I think you know that already and there's also um uh um uh uh, the, uh, so the, uh, the villains, uh, let's just talk about the Riddler. The, uh, so past Joker for some apparent reason. He, uh, I'll tell you why. He is a fucking psychopath. You will murder anybody that lies. He just wants the lies to end immediately because of Will Thomas Wayne, aka Bruce Willis. Bruce Wayne's dad. And all these promise that after we got killed, it was all lies. Never and ever happened. And that's why the crimes went all the way up. And that caused the river wanting to kill every last one of those babies that lies, including Bruce. Well, they got Alfred, but they got Alfred, but I'm pretty sure they like had they had like the balls to kill him off. But I'm pretty sure whatever happened to him in the after after the credit after the movie ended. Uh, and the riddle was caught, everything's going well, they're safe. What happened to him afterwards? Like, is he dead? Do we not get to see him what happened after that? He's like, boom. No, I know he was not, no, we don't see him in the rest of the world. What, 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 what the fuck is, what the fuck? There's no, what, why? But whatever, um, yeah, well, whatever. He was gonna have that purpose in the movie. And there's also, um, uh, oh yeah, there's so one character that appeared in the end while well, he's talking to the Riddler. After the plan failed, I'm trying, I'll tell you that character say all this clown stuff. If he's not the Joker, that is fucking two faced. That kind of that you can see this smirky looking while the other one looks normal. Oh, you can clearly and the the the, the, uh, with the freakish hair. Like yeah, you can clearly see that is two faced, not fucking Joker. I'm trying to tell you all. This is my fucking theory. That is two faced talking with the Riddler in the end of the movie, not the fucking Joker. We're most likely never gonna see him. Yeah, all all these Batman th the Batman. Batman 3. I'm gonna call it the Batman 3. Or let's just call it the Batman and Robin and just restart the whole, restart all over again. And then, uh, there's, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, that was a big shock for some reason, but we don't get to see his face, so. Also, the Riddle was weird. I was like, what the hell is any Riddle's got some more and more insane. Kind of like those, anybody on Twitter or those dream states, like, they go flat out insane. And fucking insane. They never stop it. Oh, they get it. Saw this. So they're gonna kill everybody all this lot. So, anyways, um, uh, that, uh, uh, that's a lot of characters to talk about. But, but yeah, the general, um, yeah, I'm not that surprised of a villain. No one out there what we saw, but that's what we heard. Holy shit. Uh, that will tell you why this whole movie is serious as fuck. Anyways, that's all I really gotta say, but overall, the characters are really, really amazing. Especially when they're all serious about this. Especially the Riddler is a uh, top tier villain, then the Joker from the Dark Knight. That's how good it is. So overall, the characters are amazing, but the villains are over top of it. Although I didn't talk about the Penguin, but um, he's not really the part. He's only there, because why not? No, that helped uh, advance the story. Well, that's all I gotta say. Um, especially but overall, uh, the characters are amazing, uh, amazing, but uh, but the villains all top it all off. Oh boy, I can't wait to do this. Uh <laughs>
Oh, hello there, Mickey Mouse. What do you want? Oh, I just want to do this. What? No, 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 no. What are you trying to do? Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, you won't be able to see him again for another couple of months. So, uh, probably the next video, but all I gotta say is overall, say goodbye to your life, Mickey Mouse. You won't be here for much longer. <laughs> Was it really worth three damn hours? Okay, almost three hours? Well, I gotta tell you one thing. The answer is fucking yes. Fucking yes. Overall, the Batman is the true Batman so far. It overpasses the original 1989 ones and the Michael, and the, what, what I said, Michael, the Dark Knight. You know, I haven't even seen the Dark Knight. I BBS. And the Lego Batman movie. So, all I gotta say is, it's an immediate watch. Story is amazing. And it's titled the seriousness all the way up to 11. The, the visual effects, good, but, you know, overshadowed by the great, some good and bad, and good action scenes. And then, the only thing to top it all off is the characters are amazing and the uh, stuff best villain since Joker from the Dark Knight and all I gotta say is that it, it is an immediate must fucking watch watch this damn movie immediately even if you want to see it, watch it again it will be the best 2 hours and 56 minutes you'll ever see in your life and there's no way you could ever top this shit off since Spider-Man and we also got a lot more movies to go on by. This movie is amazing. 10 out of 10. No doubt about it. This is worth the best thing I've ever seen since 2022 so far. And we still haven't gone through a couple of movies yet. I still haven't seen Sony yet. I still haven't seen uh, Lightyear yet. I still haven't seen Turning Red yet. That would be an issue. I still haven't seen Nero Chris Pratt at that shit yet. However, we still have yet to that. I don't think we'll have a top this one to be the best movie of the year so far. Well, anyways, all I gotta say is Go watch this movie, and always remember, the only thing I'll tell you once, if you're waiting for him to say, I'm Batman, he does not say it once, not zero times, he always says, Venge I'm Benjamin, is that what he is, from the end, so, that's all I gotta say, and that is who it is, in the end, the only thing I gotta say is, watch this damn movie, so damn much, why well, love it so damn much, it, it's, it's a really good watch. It's watch so really good. It's really good. Well, anyways, all I gotta say is, I gotta, now I gotta find some. I gotta tell me the emails, wherever he is right now. I gotta tell him about this. I'm serious for like a damn second for some reason. Like I'm like a fucking robot. Tell me this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, I've seen a lot of stuff around this movies. But I can easily tell you that this is one of them. Well, anyways, uh. Uh, wait, where is Mickey Mouse anyways? Oh, no. Did the Riller take him away? Ah, god damn it. Oh, yes, I did. W where'd you come from? Where are you hearing from? Oh, I'm hearing stuff from the mind now. The only thing I gotta tell you, if you wanna see Mickey Mouse back in the next reel, the only thing I gotta tell you is solve a riddle. Okay, what is your riddle? Oh wait, I don't even like riddles. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, you're gonna have to figure out yourself anyways. What is red, evil, and controversial? Red? What? Red, evil, controversial? Is there any things, anything that we're doing is red? Oh. Oh. I think I now know what it is. The next review. We're going to Canada, my bros, in 2000s. And all I gotta say is, I gotta go to Twitter, find a toxic person about this movie, and maybe he'll soon find out about this next review, or the next movie we're watching for this review. And no, it's not fucking Ryan Reynolds. It is some Kellogg's 
style that people hate the most. Well, gotta go. Uh.